to end save it? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm live. Hope so, good luck. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, I think I'm live. We are on the How I Met Your Father Hulu page and hello, I see people coming in so I know it's working. Um, I am in my bathroom right now and Francia is actually in my bedroom right now because we like to hang out. Um, so she's going to ask t for a request. Franck, ask for a request. And we're gonna talk about her role on Grownish and our whole experience on How I Met Your Father. Um, hey, I'm seeing so many nice hearts and highs and excitement, and I'm just looking. I requested! <laughs> She's screaming at me that she requested, but I'm not seeing it. Um, I okay, but I have to, oh, guys, I'm so not techie. I'm so sorry. Oh, I see. I think I got it. Did you get it? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know until like later. Hi, Frank. Hi, Miss. How's it going? Good. You know, thank you for letting me borrow your room. It's so nice. You're welcome. How's my bedroom? It's it's very clean. The bed is made. Um, I need to be a better adult because I definitely did not make my bed before I left. Should we talk about what I just help, help, helped you prop your phone up with? Yes, um, some store, sort of rock and a crayon box. A giant box of crayons. So we keep it real classy over here. We're super professional and we absolutely know what we're doing. Um, so I'm gonna start off talking to you. Oh, and you have your sandwich. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Yes, you also get fed over at my house. Um, we're gonna talk about your role on Grownish and I'm so excited. I haven't actually seen Grownish, but I'm gonna be watching this season now that we're besties. Don't lie to me. Come on, I'm trying to. I swear to God, I am. I am. I can't wait to see you as Anna because I know you as Valentina. Oh, good. Well, Anna and Valentina are very different. You might be a little shocked. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. But first of all, before we get into how different they are, I want you, for anyone who hasn't seen Grownish like me, to give them a little briefing and tell, tell us what the show's about. Well, the show Grownish is about college life. You follow my character and a bunch of my friends from freshman year all the way here. And this new season that just aired is senior year of college where we're trying to figure out what we're going to do after college. And my character goes through a bit of a transition this season. So it's very interesting to watch. And I'm excited for everyone to get to see this second half. And you finally to get to watch it. I know. So can you tell me what season this is? Four. Season four. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I have some series catching up to do. And but I'm talking about catching up for those of those people that haven't seen How I Met Your Father yet, do you want to explain a little bit about what it's about? Oh, sure. I will. Um, basically, it's about 30-year-olds doing 30-year-old things. So it's kind of like one of the big things that I think we borrow from How I Met Your Mother is that it's about normal people doing normal things, which was like the 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 trend in like the early 2000s, which made shows, I sitcom so popular was just people you know could really relate to them we're telling uh this story from the the female perspective who's me and obviously it's about our whole friend circle and those kind of like magical new york nights where like lightning strikes and the whole world kind of comes together and don't you think that's a good like explanation of how our show kicks off like even though i are friends and live together like everyone meets on that that those nights that only happen in new york really where yeah you know, literally bump into your new group. Yeah, and then you just start doing all this live together. It's really fun. That's a great explanation. I'm stealing this answer. Okay, you can, you can. Um, okay, so since our show, we're like sworn to secrecy and basically they threaten our lives if we give any spoilers. Can you give any spoilers with Gronish this season? I mean, you know what? Both our shows um, threaten our lives. So no, I can't give any spoilers away. Um, I'd like to keep my job. So yeah. I'd like you to keep your job too. I mean, you're on two TV shows right now. That's so crazy, right? Let's keep you on these two TV shows. Yeah, let, let, let's, no, let's get to another one, girl. All right. You want to employ me on another one? I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay. So you just told me a second ago that Anna and Valentina are extremely different. Can you tell us why? Uh, well, first of all, they're uh, 10 years apart. So Anna is about 21 years old. And I think uh, Valentina is, like you said, in her 30s. Yeah. Um, you know, Anna is from Miami. Okay. 
from New York, so already two different um, places. And then Valentina is second generation uh, Mexican and Anna is first generation Cuban American. So quite the difference in growing up and just life and everything. It's It's been really fun playing both roles, being 21 again, but then playing my closer my age. Girl, killing it, playing 21, just like a baby. Thank you, friend, thank yes. you. Yes, um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm looking at papers here. Um, but it's helping me a lot. Um, do you think Anna would fit into our friend circle on um, Hemif? We like to call it Hemif, guys. Who would she fit in our friend circle? Uh, you know what? I don't think freshman year Anna would. Maybe senior year a little bit. I think um, Anna would be someone that Sophie might get with and Valentina might get annoyed with and be like, girl. Wait, Sophie would what with? I think Sophie would get along with her, maybe. Oh, and okay. Uh, Valentina would probably be like, girl, what's, what's wrong with you? You know, she's very conservative, a little sheltered, but she's growing out of her shell. So by senior year, I, th I think, you know, we, we'd invite her for a drink. Okay. Would she have a drink with us? Is she a one kind of cocktail girl? She is. No, she likes to go all in. She will drink until she throws up. Oh, Anna? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my first episode. Oh. I'm filming. Oh. I literally had to shoot a scene where I'm vomiting everywhere because I was taking too many shots. And Zoe, the um, Yara Shahidi's character, leaves me at the party. Leave. And was like, I don't know her. No. That's Are not you? a friend. I know, right? That to you. You would never do that to me. You would get me hammered. Would, neither would Sophie. Sophie would not do that either. But Sophie's older. You know, this is freshman year. You know, college kids we're talking about. you got a few friends. Yeah, but people were making fun of me, and she's like, I don't know her. Let me go with the popular girls. I don't know anyone here. That's so mean. Hold on. Did you have to fake, like, did they have to put liquid in your mouth for you to throw up? What did they use? Uh, they mixed a bunch of uh, flavored water with, like, granola, and <laughs> it was gross. And so we would pause the take. I would have to chug it, hold it in my mouth. Oh. Spit. I mean, it was disgusting. And that was... <laughs> How many times, how many times did you have to do it? Too many, too many. Oh no. I was do for our job. What we do, and it was the first day of work and I was too scared to say anything, you know? I didn't want to complain or be like, hey, can we move on? But you know, yeah. is there that, something that that I, know, I met where we were like, ooh, this is, this is a lot. Yeah. I wonder. Wait, what did you, you ask me what one of those I'm, was? A moment like that where we shot a scene and we were like, like the stuff that we had to do. Was there a gag or anything? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Isn't it crazy that we just filmed that season and it's like all blending together already? Yeah. I know one of the questions here is what is like the funniest moment that happened on set? Did we decide what that was? Well, we talked about it. We didn't want to get in trouble from Tom. I know. What was the other thing? <laughs> I got, we couldn't stop laughing. That was the time. I know. That we all couldn't stop laughing. That's, that's something else too. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to everyone watching us right now because I've seen people from all over tuning in and it's just super, I said tuning in. How old am I? God, get it together, Hillary. But um, joining us live, how about that? And um, I love the show. One of my favorite shows. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're so excited to see all this love. I think that honestly, I'm getting off uh, topic a little bit, but don't you think we like held our breath until the show actually came out and we found out that people loved it? Like beforehand, it's just so scary. Oh, we were freaking out because we made something that we really fell in love with and we want to keep doing. So we were just hoping that the audience responded the same way about the show. I mean, we, we loved filming together and the fact that people have seen the chemistry between us and, you know, understand that is real is really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? I mean, I feel... Like, I'm on cloud 10 right now, you know? But yeah. before, I was just a nervous wreck for, you know. Why did you guys first on TV? First hmm? time doing multicam, remember how nervous we were the first day? Yes. Well, also, I had COVID, but. That, that part. But we're, we're going to forget that part. <laughs> I, I always like to bring it up. I feel like it makes it less awkward if I just throw it out there. Let it happen. Yeah. I mean, so we <laughs> 
for uh, it was our first day of rehearsal, and we were already so nervous and so scared. And like after uh, our first table read, we went to grab a drink, all of us, which was so fun. And I remember Hillary just kept looking at me, and she was like, "I feel really weird." And I said, "Yeah, me too." She goes, "I just feel so out of it." I was like, "I'm nervous too. I'm just encouraging her, and I'm here like you're not alone. I'm nervous." And then the next morning, I get a text message from Hillary in the group chat saying. I'm sorry to say with a heavy heart and I mind you we're all so nervous I'm like who got fired is it me and then she goes I positive I was like oh god okay and then she's like Frosty I'm the most worried about you I was like great if I'm gonna get COVID from anyone why not Hillary <laughs> I'm really glad that I didn't give you COVID I'm really really glad or anyone for that matter yeah um okay so did you have, okay, so since you've been on Gronish for four years, you've been on since the beginning, right? Yes, since day did one. Did you have any input with like character development? You know what? Um, when I first auditioned for Anna, first of all, she was a completely different character name and the whole Anna thing was just different. I think my character was more similar to Nomi, um, which you haven't seen it, but you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I got cast and literally after that, I got the script and I said, this is a completely different character than what I read for. And I remember our executive producer, uh, Kenya came up to me and was like, yeah, so we're going a different direction with Anna. You're going to have to help develop her, which was nerve wracking because it was my first time doing comedy, but at the same time it was really exciting. So yes, I did have um, some input with her. Not so much with the wardrobe, but you know, that's okay. Michelle Cole is an amazing costume designer. It's just so different for me. You're going to laugh when you see my wardrobe, dude. I can't wait. Lots of pleated. Are you like, are you like nerd alert? Yes, very I much. Guess. Yeah, I would. So. That's so cool. Like she's so. I think yeah. there's a shirt that you wear and how I met that I actually wore on Gronish as Anna. What are you saying right now? Meaning, uh, Sophie <laughs> and Anna would be friends. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I've got to watch. I've got to see for myself. Um, okay. Um, Oh, you know what else is funny is Valentina wasn't your name in uh, How I Met Your Mother either. I mean, sorry, How I Met Your Father. No, it was Kate. It was Kate. It was Kate, and I was hoping that would change, and I really love this new name. Yeah. Also, Valentina's my favorite hot sauce, so that's fun. My, not my favorite hot sauce. My salsa is your favorite. That's right, girl. Hey. You oh. guys, for everyone watching right now, Francia makes the best damn salsa I've ever had. And now my kids are addicted to it. And my son takes it to school with chips. And all the kids try to barter and trade with him to get the salsa. It's hilarious. So uh, we're, we're trying to find a bottle that. Yeah, well, let's talk about it, friend. And I'm so happy you didn't kick me out of your house because I came empty handed today. So thank you for that. And you gave me a sandwich. You did what? I didn't come with salsa today. And you I thought no salsa on my kitchen counter downstairs right now. <sighs> I should have walked downstairs and I was going to see. A container. At least don't. So, yeah. Downstairs. Surprise you, you know? I have to go. Guys, I'm sorry to cut this short. He's about to kick me out. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's some questions that I thought was really fun. Oh, what is it like having Kim Cattrall play Future You? Please talk about that. What a moment that is. I mean, it's so cool. Like we, you and I got to geek about that so much on set and I try to play it a little more cool than how I feel inside. Like really having her join the cast was a huge thing for us and her playing older me. I even look at her now and I'm watching it and I know the scripts and I shot the TV show and I just watched the episode last night and I was like, she's so, I want to be like her when I'm older. She's just like cool and calm, but like funny, funny. She cashmere sweater on that in that cool ass house I'm like Sophie figured it out man I hope I do too what I do is that she didn't know our storylines that well you know oh, and she was so sweet she was so giving to me like you know when I you know we all showed up on set that day to meet her and she was like I really wish I had more time to pick your brain and get in your head about the character and I was like what? my head you like I hope to be like doing you justice but it was really kind she was very generous and it's so perfect i mean i love seeing the flash back and forth um and seeing how much you know future sophie has grown and the way that kim Cottrell plays her i think it's incredible okay i have a question that's on here that i've been um dying to ask you what's your bagel order because if we're really going to be friends i should know this about you Listen, i love cream cheese okay i love cream cheese so make sure that you pound that on there okay um, 
blue, the blueberry or everything bagel, lots toasted with cream cheese. And if you want to add a little salmon on top, please do so. <gasps> You're a smoked salmon girl? She's, she's new to it, but she is. Wow. Uh, what about you? What's your order? Okay. I have a weird, like, it kind of depends on my mood. I'm an everything bagel with chive cream. Mm -mm, you lost me. Okay, sometimes if I'm feeling really wild, I like an everything bagel with strawberry cream cheese. Okay. okay. It's that salty sweet kind of thing. Okay, that one I will try. I will try on that. Next time I'm here, I'll bring salsa. You, you have my bagel ready. Great. Okay, okay. But also, I am not too much cream cheese. Please, people have too much cream cheese. No, no. Oh, you buy extra. Pound it on. We love it. Pound it on. Say, say that one more time, Francia. Uh, no, just because you asked. Oh, wait, wait. I want to talk about but Can we talk about your favorite scene to film on How I Met Your Father? Mm-hmm. My favorite scene to film at your father. That's so hard. Obviously, I love being in Pemberton's when it's like all of us. Because we just goof off and have such a great time. Yeah, that is fun. I really, I'm, I'm quite thoroughly enjoying everyone's um, bagel orders coming through. Oh, wow. See, I'm Oh, add some hot Cheetos to your order. What? What? Cheese what? <laughs> that one's for Francia. Any yeah. more bagel orders coming in? Can I want Germany. Guys, we are going to be international. March 9th, I believe, we will be international. Yeah. I love that everyone's uh, hounding renewed for season two. Why don't you ask, guys, why don't you ask Hulu? Um, so the people are speaking. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, okay, so sorry. I love Pemberton's scene because we're all together and it's just like a good time. It's like a giggle fest. And... Um, but I think one of my favorite scenes is you and I, at the end of the season, we have a very touching moment. And I like, not to be cheesy, but I like actually felt that between us, you know, like our friendship really did grow through the season and we started to like trust each other more. And it's hard to walk onto a new set, you know, and just ha like find your, I mean, honestly, everyone is good friends and we all support each other so big but like you and I had this like really special hug and I was like I feel that on a personal level too and when it all like can come together like that it's so nice I love that scene too that was great and thank you for saying all that you're right it's so nerve-wracking and then you and I playing BFFs have known each other for years and honestly like from day one and just so you guys know like when I got the part Hillary called me so that was fun and just to congratulate me and say, you know, I'm so happy to be working with you. Like everything I, you know, expected you to be like, you superseded it. Like I cannot believe what uh, the power of sisterhood that you really introduced me to, which is really awesome. And I felt that in our scene and, you know, even now hanging out in your bedroom, like the sisterhood is real. He is in my bedroom right now, guys. <laughs> I have to still be here. <laughs> Um, okay, so we've touched on Kim Cattrall. We've done our bagel orders. We've talked a lot about Gronish. Can you tell everyone when Gronish is airing? Because I forget that. Yes, Gronish will be airing a new episode, episode two, this Thursday at 10 p.m. and Friday on Hulu. Look at me all over Hulu. I know. It's so exciting. Very exciting. I'm, I'm very excited. got a show on Tuesdays and a show on Thursday, Fridays. On Tuesdays, I will be 30, and on Thursdays, I will be 21. <laughs> <laughs> Women can really have it all, guys. Oh, um, I'm graduating this season on Gronish, which is uh, the only time I will be graduating from college, so I can add that to my resume and, and tell my parents so they're not as disappointed that I didn't. <laughs> um, can you tell me what your go-to bar drink is? Even though I think you know. Oh, my God, wait. I actually love answering this question about you. Sure. Guys, if you're having a drink with Francia, she's going to possibly order a whiskey cocktail, decide she doesn't like it, and a glass of cab. Okay, okay. It's not that I decided I didn't like it, okay? It's an old-fashioned, and we love it, but we just really love wine sometimes. And uh, the craving for wine comes in when I'm halfway done, and then, you know, I, I let a good old-fashioned go. That's what happens. But yours is, you like to make your own margarita. I do. Yeah, with uh, tequila, splash of lemon juice, ice, and then, no, 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 juice, limes, limes, okay. limes, just limes, and you like to squeeze it in yourself. Yeah, lots of it. 
lots of lime. Yeah, learn that from you. I've, I've actually done that. I've taken that on. Or she loves the Sauvignon Blanc, just like Sophie. You, oh, yeah. So, I think that was a so first. We actually were like questioning each other because you said Sauvignon and I said Chardonnay and you heavily judged me and I was judging you. I mean, I can't believe you like Chardonnay and you don't like pickles. Okay, Chardonnay, the buttery finish. Come on, you can't not. <laughs> wow, look at her. You're, mira, you're exageras, mujer. Oh, yeah, I got to teach you Spanish. <laughs> that's next season. Yeah, that's next season. We're, we're working on that. Um, okay. So much love from Germany right now. Just a quick shout out to Germany. Hi, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, someone's asking if I speak Spanish. Si hablo español y vamos a estar en uh, México y Latinoamérica en 9 de marzo. Yeah, girl. The next season, I'm going to be able to do that, too. Yes, you will. We're going to work on it. Uh, so another question I wanted to ask for, oh, what is your favorite thing to do in New York? Because I know you were there for a long time when you were filming. Young yeah. Honestly, um, since I've been a mom so long, I don't think that, like, my normal go outs are, like, crazy party bar but like New York just has that thing where you can just step out of your apartment and like adventure awaits you know it, whether it's like you're going to take a walk in the park or you're going to dinner and then that dinner you end up like going to four different bars that you like find on the street and like meet a friend at this one and meet a group of friends at this one it's just so like epically uh, unplanned and random and fulfilling you know yeah, and that's the beauty of the show, too. I think it really embodies that. And honestly, the show has made me want to move there. I mean, New York sounds lit. It's so great. It's, it's, there's times that it's so hard. When I was filming there, once it was so hot, I was, you know, on Younger. And I had gone out to get groceries. And I'm an L.A. girl, so I'm used to, like, getting so many groceries and only having to go to the grocery store, like, once per week. And in New York, people go, like, every day or every other day because they have to carry them all home. And I have, like, stacks of bags on my – I mean, I screamed out of town because I have like so many grocery bags and like hitting people. It's so hot that I got home. I just closed my door behind me and I just like sat down and cried. I was hot and tired and they were heavy. And it was like, like New York is hard, you know, where we have our car here and, but it's also the greatest. Yeah, I don't know how people are doing it right now. Like I'm, I've always wondered about how do you grocery shop when it's snowing and you have to carry all those bags? So hard, you have to get a granny cart. You what? cannot without a granny cart in New York. It makes sense. I mean, you know, I had a wagon for a while myself when I lived in an apartment. It makes sense. Here. What? For, for here, like for the farmer's market? Yeah. A wagon. I want to go on a ride in the wagon. Okay. All right. It's at my house. I'm I'll right. hold Roman. You can pull. Oh, Banks, Banks will probably fight you for the wagon. Yes, she absolutely will. Um, Always. I'm too tired to fight with that girl. She gets all my things. I mean... Yeah, and she loves me. I miss her. I'm so sad she's not here. It's really like You guys, Francia came over to my house today mainly to hang out with Banks. And when she was like, where is she? I'm like, uh, it's a Wednesday and she's at, it's Wednesday, right? Yes. It's a Wednesday and she's at school. <laughs> and she was like, I wouldn't have come over. And then I almost cried. It was sad. I, yeah, I would have came I'm over. cool too, you know. I mean, normal school hours are just so random. <laughs> Taking a note from Sophie. I like it. I like it. Someone on here was asking me um, if I've ever seen any of your shows. Well, I already know you saw Lizzie McGuire. I did. And you know what? I answered one time that that was my favorite project of yours, and I lied. That wasn't it. Really? What was it? When Casper Meets Wendy. It really was. It really We're was. Way back. I know, but it was the best Casper ever. Don't argue with me, people. It was. Oh, you are so wrong. I'm going to argue with it. It no. was not better than the Christina Ricci Casper movie. He's a close second, but I loved yours mo more. I watched yours all the time. All You're the time. Insane. You can watch it every Halloween, you know? <laughs> you are so funny. Did you have it on tape? Yes, we did. Oh my God. Where is that? I have no idea. I've moved so many times and my mom doesn't like to keep anything, but she keeps random things that we don't need, like these batteries. We might use them one day, but old video uh, old cassettes no oh, casper meets wendy found its found its fate at the, the goodwill or something somewhere yeah <laughs> oh my gosh um kenya up oh someone had casper meets wendy on tape that makes me feel so old i tried to tell luca the other day that like we used to have 
like VHS tapes and like you could like rewind fast forward, but it was like on tape and he was like so confused by it. You yeah. Don't... No. Could you imagine handing a kid like a clunky thing this big? They'd be like, mm, what is that? I do with this. Oh God, we're a CD player. I know. Oh God. Are we... I saw a funny TikTok the other day that was like, we're, we get in trouble for texting and driving, but like in the early 2000s, you're like going through your huge CD book, trying to find like the, the CD for your, or like people had it on like the top. Uh, of yeah. On the thing. <laughs> or you're like going through the Thomas guide, trying to, trying to find out where you're going on the map. Like, or uh, having to print it out on MapQuest. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was like when I got my driver's license. It was like still no nav, I don't think. No. So many people are saying, such nice things about us you guys thank you so much oh my god metamorphosis on the walk man what's up <laughs> would anna and valentina be friends <laughs> that's actually a question here oh yeah you said no right you know what i think anna would be like the little sister valentina wishes that she didn't have and uh, valentina would be the big sister that anna wishes she didn't have i feel like they would love each other and then be like i don't get you you know yeah. it's like Average sisters. My sisters and I are the same way. But um, yeah, I think they would to a degree for sure. Um, I love that you get to play two like completely different characters. I do too. It's a really fun. Yeah. yeah. Such a blessing, honestly. But you like ours more, right? 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 <laughs> we should. Listen, because... Oh, sorry, was that not on the list of, of things to ask you? No, it wasn't. And weird. I... That's so weird. They're both different, okay? They're both very different. I enjoy both, and I love my castmates on both, all right? Bringing it back to how I met your father, um, who do you think the father is? You know what? I think that you and I are so obsessed with each other, and we've always talked about being sisters for real and, like, related, that I think I let you borrow Charlie for a second. And we have kids that are siblings, and now we're related. Whoa. Whoa. Black twist. <laughs> Oh, I have a crick in my neck because I'm getting old and I slept weird the other day and I can't like fully turn my head to the left and I flung it back pretty hard with that one. That is a plot twist to the max. If it's not Jesse, someone said, I think it's Jesse, but that's the obvious choice, right? I mean, it's the obvious choice, but. I said not Charlie. I don't think I would ever do that to Valentina. Well, science is advanced. Maybe you don't have to. Like we're going to get science involved to give Charlie, to like have Charlie give me a baby? Yeah. And is Sophie gonna get that desperate? She's really not gonna find anyone? I think, it, I find it hard to believe that you can't find anyone, but you know, maybe. I do. And Paolo's on here. Paolo, you and I are on the same same wavelength. I think Jeff. Hi. Hi. Um, Sid, oh, you thought it was Sid for a minute too. The first time I talked to you, I did think it was Sid. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, well, the script changed a little bit. It was a little detail in the first script that made me think it was. Yeah. Detail was not there anymore, so now I don't know. But I'm gonna stick to Sid or, you know, my idea with Charlie and we can be BFFs forever, for real. We're, I mean, we're always gonna be BFF. What if, what if <laughs> there was like a scene where Kim, we get to see like the older you and Kim Cattrall and her are in the same house, but like talking to their sons from different rooms, like kind of like how we're doing right now. Yes, we could be writers on this show. Just kidding. I would request for me, please and thank you. Wait, what? I would request Salma Hayek to play the older me. That's great. That'd be amazing. Again, not a question on this sheet, but that was a good one, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I think we're getting to the end here. I think we have to wrap it up soon. Did you have anything that you want wanted me to ask her that you want to share about Gronish that I didn't ask? Um, Gronish, I think. I think the one thing um, I probably wanted to mention is, uh, I think it was a question here about Anna and like this season. And I think she goes through a transition, um, a, a, an identity crisis almost, you know, she's grew, grown up believing so much for her entire life. And then one turn of event happens that's coming up um, on the episode this week where she starts questioning everything that she grew up knowing and believing. And right before graduating and choosing her career path, um, she definitely goes through a lot of crisis, uh, inner crisis that a lot of us go through when we're reaching that next stage in life. So it's very interesting and it does touch on the Latinx community and immigration. So I'm very excited for that. Ooh, that's amazing. 
Oh. So navigating college and, and a serious subject matter to tackle. That's really important right now. That's what I appreciate about grown is we always tackle them um, through humor. Um, a lot of subject matters that are happening in the world. And we kind of share a little perspective on it. I think the writers do a very good job at opening dialogue with all that. Well, I love watching you on our show. I can't wait to watch grown -ish. I'm sorry, I've already watched. My children dominate the TV for the most part. Um, but... I'm just going to rest them for the remote and I'm going to watch you now on two shows. Oh, thank you so much. And yes, please show Banks so she loves me more. <laughs> on. Okay, I know what movie she should watch. Show her Bring It On. You haven't seen that. Oh, Bring It On. Bring It On. Yeah. She'll love it. Okay. She'll love it. Perfect. Um, okay, you guys, don't forget to watch Grownish. Don't forget to watch How I Met Your Father. Uh, we just had our fourth episode premiere last night. Um, but it also aired on Monday night. So it's really confusing. But it's on. Monday nights, but technically Tuesday night airings. Yeah. Well, it, it's Monday nights at midnight in the East Coast, and we just, in the West Coast, can watch it. It's so amazing. Thank you, Hulu, for that, because. Yeah. And now, and you know what? Next week, we haven't seen the episodes. I haven't yet. So that'll be a new episode for me. I only got to see the first four. So from now on, I am viewing. In with like, with everyone else. So I will. You're alive. Um a live viewing of How I Met Your Father while we like live comment. Yeah, let's do that. That would be fun. I'll come over again. I'll bring salsa this time. Don't I was like, you better bring something. You better not be handed. Um, everybody, thank you, Frank. I love you so much. And everyone, it means everything that you stuck with us and hung out with us and watch our TV shows. And we love you. Thank you so much. Happy midweek. Love you all. I'll see you. In <laughs> I don't really know how to sign off with this thing. Oh, there you go. Bye. Hi.